it's Ashley from Life by Ashley Pache, where I invite you to join me in doing life together, living intentionally by faith every day. Welcome to Caffeinated Conversations. I just want to give you a quick 3 and 30 challenge update. If you're unfamiliar with the 3 and 30 challenge, it's a challenge where you pick three goals to accomplish in 30 days. This month I've picked two task-oriented goals and one habit-forming goal. My habit-forming goal is... Um, going along with the 31 days to pray for your spouse challenge that 3 and 30 actually is sponsoring um, along with finding joy this month and I am encouraged to say that this challenge has been really a blessing in my life as well as in my husband's life um, I have not necessarily prayed the specific prayer for each day um, the challenge has a specific prayer prescription uh, specific prayer prompt and scripture for each day and while I haven't necessarily prayed those every day I've tried to as much as I can but the days that I haven't I still have remembered to pray for him and have found myself having to pray for myself as well which has been just a blessing as I'm growing and our relationship is growing and he's growing so that's good progress there my task oriented goals for this month were both in the um vein of simplifying, which simplify is my word for 2012. And so I tried to pick goals that were um, in that line of thought. And so one goal was to purge, sort, print, and back up my photos on my hard drive. Um, in the age of digital photography, I take a lot of photos and yeah, I don't do a whole lot with them. I upload them to my computer and then they sit on my computer. And I don't sort them, I don't delete the blurry ones or the ones that I'm just, you know, playing with the light to make sure it was right, all that kind of stuff. So last Friday I spent probably three hours or so and I went through about three years worth of photos, deleted over 2,000 photos that just I was never going to do anything with, I wasn't going to print them, I wasn't going to share them in some slideshow or, you know, whatever the case might be. So I've made pretty good progress on that. Um, I do still have a couple years left to go through and those ones are going to have a lot more photos um, because I got an iPhone in the middle of those couple years and I take a lot of pictures with my iPhone. Um, so I'll have lots to purge <laughs> through that. Um, but then also my other task oriented goal was my paper pile. I have a paper pile that is just it's like two and a half years worth of papers that have not been filed, sorted, purged, etc. Um, they all at one point were important papers, but now a lot of them I don't really need to keep. Some of them I need to keep parts of for records purposes or, you know, whatever the case might be. So I need to sort through those. That's probably going to take me two, three, four hours one afternoon. So I need to find an afternoon and say to my husband, okay, you watch the kids this afternoon or keep them out of my hair, whatever the case might be. And I just need to sit and have piles all over my office and sort these out so that I can get them out of the cupboard spot that they're in so that we can actually use that space for something else. So those are my 3 and 30 goals for the month. Um, like I said, I'm making good progress on two of them and the other one is just one of those things where I just need to set a date and say this this is my time, this is what I'm going to do during this time and just get it done. So um, I also wanted to give you a quick update on the blog. As you've probably noticed the last couple weeks, there have been a lot more posts on Life, Ash Life by Ashley Pache. And part of this reason is because I have moved my homeschool blog, Teaching Jenny, over to the Life by Ashley Pache blog. I decided that a lot of the audience was the same on both blogs, and it was really almost more time consuming to have two separate blogs, especially as I was trying to come up with enough content to keep the homeschool blog a valid blog, you know, where people were actually being able to come to it and read it on a regular basis. So I've actually moved that over to the Life by Ashley Pache blog under the homeschool category. If you only want homeschool updates, you can subscribe simply to my homeschool newsletter. That would be a daily newsletter that would come out only on the days that I had a homeschool blog post, and it will only email you those posts. I also have two other um, subs topical subscription options. One is home, called Home and Family Life, and it's posts that will only, you'll only get the posts in your inbox that relate to something about our family or about our home life. Um, so that's an option. And then the last category that I have a subscription option for, for a daily newsletter, is for the category of faith. I write a lot of faith-based posts, um, whether it's devotional or encouraging you in your faith, or I'm sharing something I'm learning in my faith. I categorize all of those types of posts with a category of faith, and you can get a daily newsletter with just the faith post. Um, it'll come out the day after the post was live on the blog. So those are three options that you can do as a subscription option if you wanted category specific um, newsletter updates from the blog. 
Also, I have two other options I would highly encourage you to take a look at for subscriptions. I have a daily digest, which will email you each morning all of the posts that were posted the day before. Um, it's one email, so you're not going to have like a bazillion emails, I promise. Um, but you get one email each morning that has all of the posts included from the day before. And it's that one is really just a great way to stay updated on what's going on in the blog, um, you know, what, what I'm sharing each day. And that will have all of the categories, including the ones that are not categorized into their specific emails. Like a lot of times I'll write something and it won't really fit the faith or the family or the homeschooling category. So I'll label it, oh, miscellaneous. Or if it's a top 10 Tuesday post, um, each Tuesday I share top, my top 10 of something with you. And so maybe it won't fit into one of those categories. So it would be labeled, it would not have gotten out in one of those other um, emails. So if you just want a digest of everything that was posted on the blog the day before, that's the post, or that's the email that you want to subscribe for. It's the Daily Digest newsletter. And finally, this is the one that you all should be subscribing to, and it's the weekly newsletter. And it's totally different. It is not a digest at all. The weekly newsletter, I actually go through each week and pick three to four of my, of my favorite posts from the blog, put them together in a newsletter format, along with links of blog posts from other blogs around the blogosphere um, that I really enjoyed and I think you'll enjoy reading so that you can kind of see links I love. Um, and then also I do have, I do share the links to all the posts from that week, but I don't necessarily share the posts in their entirety in that one. So if you aren't already subscribed to the weekly newsletter, I would highly, highly, highly suggest you do that. I'll leave a link below that you can go to, um, or you can go to blog.ashleypache.com slash subscribe. And all of the subscription options are there. You can just choose which ones you want, put your email address in, hit enter. Um, I think it'll take you to a confirmation page, do that, and you guys should be all set and we can stay connected that way. So anyway, I hope you guys all have an incredible weekend. I will see you back on Monday for Hiding God's Truths in Your Heart, or in my heart actually, as I share my weekly um, scripture memory accountability vlog with you. And then I'll see you back next Friday for another Caffeinated Conversations. Have a great weekend.